In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for being here this morning. As we come together to celebrate the mercy of God, we bring to God's presence our family and friends with gratitude. Gratitude for all that we are and we have. And we ask God's mercy for the times we fail to be the best of ourselves. So we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the holy ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who through faith and patience are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now men swear by someone greater than themselves. For them an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose, he intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord, the Lord will, will remember, remember his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. 
He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The, the Lord, Lord will remember, remember his covenant forever. <laughs> he has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The, the Lord, Lord will remember, remember his covenant, covenant forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry. How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man, for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for joining us online. As we come to celebrate the Eucharist. The Church today invites us to continue to meditate where we started the second week yesterday. How to yield to God. How in our everyday we could yield to God. The Gospel of Matthew was written to show Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. So Jewish belief is when Messiah comes, he will be hidden. Nobody would know who he is. So the Gospel of Mark presents Jesus who is a hidden Messiah. Because of that, he always ended into conflict with the Pharisees and scribes who insist on meticulous rituals and rubrics. So they are walking through a field of grain which is lawful to do, to pick and eat. Cannot put a sickle to and collect, but he could do with hands. Now they are finding an issue because it's a violation of the Sabbath law. And what Jesus is saying, you don't cut person to the size of the cloth, rather you cut the cloth to the size of the person because the laws are made to help the person. Everything in this world is there for the person. God created him or her in the image and likeness of God. So anytime we have an issue and criticize somebody, we need to realize to yield. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for the gift of our life in this day. Help us this day to be kind and merciful 
to ourselves and to each other. We pray for our Holy Father and for all our leaders of faith and the country that they all have your peace and unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized in various nursing homes and homebound, that they be healed and all the caregivers be strengthened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for all our deceased and departed, that they all be in your mercy and eternal bliss. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Merciful Father, trusting in your love, we bring to you all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts. Help us this day to be a better child of yours. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, thus will become the bread of our life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share the divinity of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of wine, work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. My dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name. For all good. Amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated. The work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord his death we celebrate in love his resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that we may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and uh, eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Stephen our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Fred, Ronick. Remember also our parents, brothers, sisters and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be choirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, 
and graciously grant them the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. My dear sisters and brothers behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those who are called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word my soul shall be healed the body and blood of our lord jesus christ bring eternal life to us all those who seek May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go and yield to God. Have a blessed day.